Thank you for the introduction, Dr. Rubin. And as Dr. Rubin said, my name is Dan Vujic, and I'm one of the junior faculty here at the University of Chicago. My current line of research interests really fall into the prediction of clinical outcomes, the prediction and responses to therapies, and the chances of needing surgery, particularly for a condition like inflammatory bowel disease. And so already with the help of GERF, we've put together a nice cohort of nearly 400 patients that have been hospitalized for a single condition, severe ulcerative colitis. And in looking at this data in some simple forms, we've already been able to find certain features that are able to predict who's going to respond to therapy, who's going to fail therapy and require surgery. And these factors are all present on the first hospital day of admission. And so individual factors alone are not all that powerful. Amazon doesn't know that you like cooking simply because you looked up a cookbook once. They look at various trends in your, in your search histories. They look at day-to-day -day trends. They probably listen to you on, their, on the Echo. But <laughs> we need to take other data from other inputs. So what are the trends in your vital signs? What are the trends in your laboratory values? What were those first, those initial two, three days of hospitalization? So we can learn what therapies we should give early on in the course of hospitalization that can potentially alter the natural history of the disease. And so that's really our next step. Take these individual variables, put them together in some computer models, and to put an individual score for the patient as to this is your chance of responding to this therapy. This is your chance of requiring surgery over the next two weeks, 12 weeks, and 12 months. And so that we, our goal is to ultimately improve the communication between the patients and the providers so that we can put some numbers to those discussions. What are the chances that this therapy is going to work for you, given the, your history and what therapies you've already been exposed to? And putting these types of uh, models into numbers will be able to help facilitate the communication so that we can create what's the best therapy going forward in the long term for that patient. None of this work would be supported without the help of GERF, and for that, we're incredibly thankful.